cellular data usage continues to increase. We need small cells to deliver greater network capacity. But as cell sizes go down, deployment costs go up. More sites, more landlords, more planning consents, more installations. TTP's innovative outdoor small cell concept addresses the total cost of deployment head on. It's designed to be deployed directly onto lampposts, so one landlord, a city authority, can grant access to many sites. It uses femtocell technologies for lowest unit cost. It has a tidy form factor to meet de minimis planning requirements, reducing site acquisition and planning approvals costs. And it plugs straight into the lamppost's standard photocell socket for speed of installation. Here's our prototype Eno B. This unit has a volume of three and a half liters. A production unit could be considerably smaller. Underneath, you can see the NEMA connector that fits the photocell socket, which in turn provides mains power to the unit. And to the rear, you can see the network interface. Plugging into the Luminaire's photocell socket is simple. And the unit is now powered and ready to connect. Street Hall is connected via gigabit ethernet and the eNode B provides power over ethernet out. Street Hall kit is powered directly from the small cell with no need to interrupt the power supply to the street lights, no need to modify the lighting column in any way. Installation of the small cell and the street hall is quick and safe. And you can see how even this prototype unit is hardly noticeable at street level. Inside, we're using the Freescale BSC9131 system on chip. This targets up to 32 users and up to 100 megabits per second downlink throughput over a 2x2 MIMO transceiver. Running on the Freescale SoC, we have the IP Access LTE Access Point software. For this demo, our core packet network is provided by the Qantas ECX core running on x86 hardware. This provides both the interface to our eNode B and our internet gateway. So let's get connected. Here we're using a Huawei E398 LTE dongle with a standard Windows 7 laptop. You can see that our dongle has found the cell, so the next step is to connect. And now we're connected, we can try a big file transfer. You can see that right now we're getting sustained throughput of more than 50 megabits per second. But out on the street, who's going to be using a laptop? So here's a more realistic use case, media streaming directly to a 4G smartphone. TTP's small cell in a photocell socket concept minimizes total cost of deployment for small cell operators and will accelerate the adoption of outdoor small cells through low unit cost, low site acquisition cost, and low installation cost.